called Don't You Feel Well, Sam? And it's written by Amy Haste and illustrated by Anita Jerram. So we're going to get started. It was a cold, cold night on Plum Street. In the little white house, Mrs. Bear was putting Sam to bed. She closed their favourite book and they both blew out the candle. Kiss goodnight, Sam, Mrs. Bear said, and she wrapped him all cosy in the blanket that was red. But suddenly she heard a cough. <laughs> and there sat Sam, curled up and small and coughing in his bed. Mrs. Bear put her arms around Sam. Don't you feel well, Sam? Sam shook his head. <coughs> Poor Sam, Mrs. Bear hugged him back harder and kissed his warm cheek. You have a cough, she said. And she dashed down the stairs and up again with cough syrup. Open wide, Sam, Mrs. Bear said. Sham, Sam shook his head. Tastes bad, he said. Yes, said his mama. You need to be brave. Sam put the blanket on his head. I don't have a cough. <coughs> Try again, Sam, said his mama. Sam shook the blanket off his head. He opened up, then closed his mouth tight. The spoon was too big. Too big, said Sam. <coughs> you can do it, Mrs. Bear said. I know you can, Sam. Sam opened up then closed his mouth tight. Too much syrup on a too big spoon. Too much, said Sam. <laughs> Mrs. Bear rubbed frost off the window and peeped outside. Soon it will snow, she said. Open wide Sam and afterwards we'll go downstairs and wait for the snow. Snow? Sam opened wide, then very wide. He spluttered and snorted and made a big face and the syrup went down. Brave Sam, he said. Mrs. Bear and Sam held hands on the stairs. Sam wore his dressing gown that was blue and his slippers that were too. They lit a little fire in the kitchen, then made a pot of tea. Mrs. Bear, Bear put extra honey in the tea and it was nice sliding down. After tea, they sat in the big purple chair near the window and waited for snow. Mrs. Bear told a story about a bear called Sam. Sam liked the story, so she told it again. <coughs> went the cough every now and then. Sam leaned back on his mama's soft tummy and it wriggled while she talked. A little fire glowed and the kitchen was warm. All through the night, Mrs. Bear and Sam sat in the big purple chair and waited. And finally, it snowed. The end. Thank you for listening, everyone.